So, well, I've been looking at your FIFA 17 starter squad and, man, you can't afford these players. Ibrahimovic, Pogba, they're, they're going to cost millions of coins, man. You need to start off small. When did you build this team, Will, I mean? I didn't know you had. I did. You want to talk about it? No. Hey, Will. I don't know a lot. You see this? All this shit. Zlatan, Pogba, Messi. This is not your fault. It's the A's fault, Will. Look at me, son. It's not your fault. It's the A's fault. I know. It's not your fault. It's the A's fault. I know. No, no, you don't. It's not your fault. Don't spend a grand on coins, Will. Mm -hmm. I know. It's not your fault. All right. It's not your fault. It's, it's them, Will. It's not your fault. Don't fuck with me. It's not your fault. Don't fuck with me, all right? Don't fuck with me, Sean, not you. It's not your fault. <laughs> Every year, they raise the prices. You, you've got to build this. You've got to build this rubbish team, Will. You've got to build it to start with. You build some more, Will. Build some more. Fuck them, okay? So today, I'm going to be doing my very first FIFA 17 starter team. This is going to be a starter team that's based in the Serie A. The reason I'm doing it in the Serie A because this is a really cheap league in FIFA. It's always one of the cheapest leagues at the beginning of FIFA. So this is the first iteration of this team. If you guys like this video and we get to 5 likes, then I'm going to release the second part of this team. So the second part will be an upgrade, which will be upgraded position, so it's like a medium team. And then on the same squad, we'll be doing the top tier, so like what you aspire to. Best part about squad builders for me on the beginner start of FIFA is that you can build your first team, you know, like your really cheap team, and you can actually view a path to upgrade it. There's no point in getting some Russian league team and then just getting rid of the entire thing and just starting from scratch all over again. At least not for me. Um, I will be doing other leagues as well, leave a note in the comments down below what other leagues you want me to do so I have an idea which league to do next. Alright guys, so let's get stuck into the team. So my squad up there guys, you can see, this is going to be in a 4-3-3 variant, um, probably a nice flexible one. We don't really know how they're going to play the 4 3 3s but you've got like 5 to choose from. So if you build a squad around a 4 3 3 you're not going to be struggling for chemistry in any of the 5 variants. So guys, our first player. Uh, starting at the goalkeeper is going to be Mattia Perrin. He is a rare 81 in FIFA 16. I haven't seen this rating in FIFA 17 yet, but I'm expecting him to be around an 81. The reason I picked Perrin is because he's very affordable and he has incredibly high reflexes, so he'll be a really good uh, goalkeeper for you in FIFA 17 to start off with, uh, just because of his high reflex stat which makes him good. Not obviously his kicking is not going to be that good, his position sense might be a bit off, but as a starter goalkeeper, can't really go wrong with Perrin. On to our first centre-back. Our first centre-back is going to be Mobido Diakite. So Diakite just has very rounded stats. He's six foot four as well, high, medium, medium high, sorry, def uh, work rates. So he's going to actually defend. He's got to stick to position. He's got reasonable pace. Uh, good physical, good defending, and is going to be relatively cheap. <laughs> Our other centre-back is France from Milan, and you guessed it, he's been around the block, it's Mexes. 6 foot 2 medium-high, you know the game of Mexes. occasionally scores as a wonder goal, um, solid defender, he's been around the block, he's going to be pretty affordable. What we've done 
So far we've got three rares. There are only going to be three more rares in this team based on FIFA 16 rating. So there could be one that pops up to be a non-rare. Um, I will update this video uh, when that happens with annotations and stuff. So I could be wrong when you're watching this. I guess you'll find out. Uh, on to the left backs and right backs. So these are non-rares starting with the left back. Davidi Santon, so not a transferred left back. There's actually been a lot of transferred left backs this season uh, in Serie A. So the chances are that Santon's going to be really affordable because people are just going to forget about it. Really good player for the start of FIFA. I seem to buy him all the time at the beginning of FIFA because he's six foot one, good pace with somebody who's six foot one, can defend, is physical, and high medium work rates are all right. Great player. Our right back, this guy is a champion of non rares. Abdullah Abdullah Konko. Uh, he four star weak foot, pace, defending, physicality. Always seems to be non rare. Really, really, really good right back to pick up at the beginning of FIFA. So on to our two holding mids. The first holding mid is going to be Jorginho. The reason I picked Jorginho is because medium medium work rates. Um, so he stays in the midfield. Good pace. Good passing. Reasonable dribbling, 77 rated, plays for Napoli, uh, good player, it's going to be really, really cheap. Our other CDM, or centre mid, uh, our other centre mid, he's going to be affordable as well, slightly, probably slightly more expensive, um, but we wanted somebody with pace because you no point filling out the midfield with a load of slow players, you want at least one with pace. Not for Lulic, 78 rated, 84 pace, high, high work rate, so he's getting up and getting down, four star weak foot. Reasonable passing, good physicality, it's going to be a good player for us. On to our star attraction of the team. Uh, this is transfer player. This is going to be the guy who makes everything tick in the middle of the park. It's Ava Benega. He is a, an amazing player. I absolutely love Ava Benega. I can't speak highly enough. Four star skills, four star weak foot. Just He's one of those players that has the best balance and distribution and vision. You know you get those players like Iniesta or something, you start pivoting on the ball, things start to happen, you don't get tackled, you slip the ball through, someone scores. That's that's Benega. And I'm delighted he's in the Serie A because there's been a distinct lack of kind of small, pacey, well, 67 pace, but his agility is always bang on. So his acceleration isn't that great, but he's always, he's always got the agility to move around people. <laughs> Um, I'm just delighted to have Manega in the squad. Right wing, this is going for the Egyptian Salah. Raw pace, 4 star skills, 4 star weak foot, high medium, 85 dribbling. Very good player, doesn't really have the shooting or the physicality, but he's going to be very handy at the beginning of FIFA. Over to our left wing, we're going for Emmanuel Giacarini. Giacarini had a really good Euros. His card here isn't that great, but I'm banking on him having a reasonable upgrade in FIFA 17. And also, it's Giacarini, so people are going to have at the back of their minds it's still just Giacarini. So I think he's going to be really cheap. Our striker. Um, this is going to be the most like value for money I think I saw in the striker market. So it's a transferred player. Going back to Serie A, it's Serate. So everybody knows how good Serate was um, in FIFA 16. West Ham uh, was a very annoying player than those cheap BPL teams. Uh, I think he's going to do the same job in FIFA 17. People are going to be fawning over their Dybalas and everything else earlier on. I think you can get a cheeky non Reserate for a, uh, a pretty penny. It's going to be a solid player. So that reveal our entire squad. Let's go back to front. We've got Perroning Net, our centre back partnership of Diakite and Mexes. Just solid centre backs. Nothing in particular great about them apart from they have good work rates and are not terribly, terribly slow. Uh, a left back and right back, they're good because they're non rares, so they're going to be cheap. Um, assuming they remain non rares, which I'm pretty sure they will because they have been non rares for the last two FIFAs, I believe. Jorginho, so he has really good all round stats. 77 pace for a centre mid, non rare player is going to be very good if he remains non rare. Um, so Lulic is going to be one of the more expensive players, probably one of three in our squad. 84 pace, so 81 physical, 71 defending. He's like a mini Nine Logan. High, high work rates as well, so he'll be up and down. Virginio's got medium, medium, so he'll stay in the midfield is where you want him. 
uh, at the tip of the triangle we have Eva Venega, probably the star man in this team, he's going to make everything tick. Medium, medium, four star skills, four star weak foot, probably will get an upgrade as well after having such a strong um, severe campaign and a transfer to into Milan to boot. On the right wing we've gone for Salah, probably going to be pretty expensive again, um, but he's going to be a very functional right winger, probably the second most expensive player after Venega, so it's probably going to go Venega, Salah, Lilic. If you get any of the three players in the Serie A star squad, should probably be these ones first. And up front we have got the very functional Maro Zarate. Non-rare, probably likely to be non-rare again. 76 rated, probably likely to be around that as well. 4-star skills, 4-star weak foot. Now they are changing the skills on weak foot, so hopefully he'll remain that. But he showed enough at West Ham, I think, to keep them last season. And the final player, Giacarini, had a very really good, really good Euros, so I'm banking on him to get a small upgrade. Um, to be honest, there are lots of other left wingers, but this is a starting team, so you're not going to be able to afford the best player in every position. So that's why we've gone for Giacarini. Alright guys, so we're just jumping into a game to check out this squad. So we're up against a full BLPL team with a Kevin De Bruyne as a star man, Mane out front, Lukaku, Sterling, Walcott, loads of pace. Start off the game quite well. We got Benega shot early on. Very nice. Builds up another shot. Come back again. Jacarini. Nice Lulic. Oh. It's tough. Cut to Benega. Sends him for the echo. Zerate. Nothing came from that free kick. Benega again. Showing his dribbling skills in the squad, guys. Really, he is the star man. Zerate to Benega. Tries again, he's offside. He tries again, and a delightful lofted through ball. Shame the player couldn't finish there. Salah, bow your head. Giacarini works it now well here though. And blocked. Lulic to Zerati in space. He's onside. It's 1 0. That's a well worked goal there, guys. There's constant pressure from the kickoff from me. Alright, it's just after half time. He's cut in from the wing, crosses it in, beats my man in the air. Lukaku equaliser. 1 1. He's running down the left wing now. Mane, pace, 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 pace. Got the angles covered, no goal. Tries the same thing again, angles covered, crossing. Scores, but he's offside. Got Kevin De Bruyne working his way inside again, the same spot. Puts it in there, but no one there. Conco's been caught out just a little bit so far. And he heads wide. On the break here, can we get a winning goal? 81st minute, Benega works it, sends him off, Lulic. Can he? Yes he can. Cracking goal. Cracking goal by Zerati there. And that's all she wrote. 2-1, good game. This is division three game. So a good test for our squad against a better team, and it came out on top. Alright guys, that's about all for me here today. Um, if you liked the video, give us a thumbs up, maybe even a sub. This is BBH signing off. Ta-ra.